Hi guys, this is SDJR Son of 88 speaking with a channel update for July 2019. So first of all, I want to kick off this update with an upcoming event this weekend. I did a little video on it the other week and basically it is the Warley Open Day which is taking place this Sunday, which is Sunday the 7th of July. And basically as part of the Open Day where the uh, club shows off their layouts at their club room, uh, they also are having a modelling competition between a number of YouTubers including uh, myself and uh, Ace 2 Ace Studios from the Great Model Railway Challenge. So there's going to be four teams, I'll pop a little um, uh, poster on the screen now and as you can see uh, there are a number of big names taking part including Everard Junction, New Junction, uh, Cheeky Tech, uh, Dean Park, uh, just to name a few. Uh, but yeah there's more details um, in my previous video, I'll pop a link in the description of course at the top of the screen now and also um, on their Facebook page and their website as well. It really really is uh, going to be uh, an amazing event. But basically what we got to do is we got to build uh, a little diorama um, with uh, parts supplied by a number of uh, manufacturers very very kindly. Uh, basically we got to build these little dioramas uh, in the style of the Great Model Railway Challenge um, in the space of about five hours I believe and then at the end they get judged. Uh, one of these uh, little dioramas would be crowned a winner and then all four of these um, models will then be put into a charity auction where you guys, the, the visitors to the show, can uh, bid on them and uh, hopefully win the layouts with all the proceedings uh, raised from these layouts going to charity. Now, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to raise a lot of money for a very, very good cause. Uh, again, more details on the cause in the, the, the um, description below. But yeah, it's going to be a really, really amazing event and hopefully we'll raise uh, a bit of money for charity and also it gives a really really good opportunity for you guys to actually come and meet uh, us guys there so um, I know a number of you um, will be um, dying to meet a number of your your um, sort of YouTube fans such as Everard Junction I know this is a you know sort of a, a once in a lifetime opportunity I would guess but yeah it could be a really really amazing event so uh, hopefully we look forward to seeing you there so whilst we're on the subject of Model Railway Exhibitions, uh, Amiens has got a number of shows coming up uh, over the summer period. Uh, first of which is at Exmoor Rail, which is going to be held in Minehead, opposite Minehead Station. It's a little one day show, I think it's the second weekend of August. And basically it's a really, really nice show, it's very, very close proximity to Minehead Station, so you can park up at Bishop City Yard, get the train on the West Somerset Railway to the show. And there's going to be a number of amazing layouts there. And it's, you know, it's just a lovely little show. I've been there uh, twice now as a visitor. It's a really, really well planned out show. It's, it's, just, it's just a really, really nice, nice, nice little day out. Uh, so Amiens will hopefully be attending this show this year. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you there. There is another exhibition the following weekend and this is uh, quite exciting. And this is still in the planning at the moment but I won't give it away too much. But it's a very, very exciting show. Uh, and it's not gonna just involve Amiens but a second layout that I've also produced in recent uh, months, uh, Winter's End, which I built, of course, uh, for um, Hornby, for their Christmas video, uh, will also be attending this show. And all I can say is, um, I'll, obviously I'll do a, a video a bit closer to the time on what this uh, show actually is. But basically, uh, both of these layouts are gonna be attending, and it's gonna be the furthest south both of these layouts have been. Uh, well, further south that I've been, I don't think you get much further south than this, so it might give you a bit of a clue to its location. And of course, uh, Winter's End in particular might give you a bit more of a clue as to exactly where um, we hope um, to be displaying the layouts. Uh, so yeah, I'll give you, uh, I'll hopefully do a little video with a few more details about what the actual plan is for um, this exhibition. Uh, but yeah, I'm in negotiations at the moment. I'm just filling out the paperwork and uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one. It's uh, a bit different to other exhibitions and I know a few of you guys are already going to this show. Uh, so yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this. So uh, something to look forward to. So as you've probably seen over the past couple of weeks and months, I've been doing a fair bit of modeling, uh, especially you've probably noticed this more or less on the social media channels such as my uh, SDJR SNF88 Facebook page and of course on RM web, uh, but also as well on the channel itself with a number of little slideshow videos which I've been doing, uh, basically showing a number of ROD renumbering projects. And the thing about these little videos, it's been a, you know, an okay series. I've been basically just basically a little slideshow 
uh, video showing the transformation of uh, a standard ready to run model uh, into uh, RO delivery. And basically, I really, really enjoy doing these little videos. Uh, well, they're not really videos, as, as mentioned, they're sort of slideshows. And the reason being is because uh, there's, you know, being uh, Model Railway YouTuber, of course, you, you really want to sort of film everything you do, but sometimes it's just nice to sort of put the camera down and actually do a bit of modelling uh, just to yourself sort of thing. And these uh, ROD renumbering projects have been just that. Uh, so what I've been doing is basically been renumbering these locos and just taking a, a little picture on my phone every now and again and creating these little slideshows for you guys, uh, showing the transformation for these models. And it's you know just really, really nice little relaxing uh, little project for me to do. And, um, you know, get a nice result at the end of it all, all being well and I've built up quite a fleet of uh, ROD World War One ra um, railway operating division locomotives um, over the past couple of months and as you can tell I've been really really getting into the uh, railways of the First World War and I've got a number of books uh, which is of course how these locomotives have come about is researching what locomotives were sent to the front their numbers and their details and of course you know just modifying ready to run rolling stock it really is surprising what is out there uh, which actually went to the front line. So we've had locos such as uh, the Batman J11, uh, the Hornby J36 is the most recent. Uh, we've also had like the, all the RODs, the, um, yeah, there's, there's, just, there's just been plenty of uh, models and there's more to come. Of course, we got Oxford Rail releasing the Khaki Dean's goods very, very soon. Uh, Hornby are also releasing a Khaki J36, which I'm really, really looking forward to as well. And then you've also got uh, locomotives such as the uh, Dapol uh, 4300 class, which is hopefully coming soon. And I hope to get hold of one of those, convert one of those at a later stage as well. But that's just to name a few of these World War I locomotives that are currently available on the market, which could be converted. So there's a number of these little slideshows to come. Uh, but also as well, there's a number of bigger projects. Um, as I mentioned in the previous update, and you probably saw as the thumbnail, I'm converting a Batman Consolidation Bald, uh, Baldwin, which is basically a big USA locomotive. And there were a number of US built locomotives sent to the front line, and uh, not just the little Baldwins that went on the WDLR, which is the narrow gauge network, which is what Amiens is based on. Uh, but these massive heavy freight locos and shunting locos that are also uh, sent over for use on the standard gauge network. And these models are really, really interesting. And I found a number of similar models uh, in the USA range uh, which are being modified. So there is a full project video, as I mentioned in the previous update, of the conversion of the Batman Consolidation. I've just got to film a couple of running clips, but at the moment, of course, with the, the heat from the lovely weather outside and, of course, the uh, mess in my loft, <laughs> I can't really uh, do any uh, running of that locomotive at the moment. But basically, the full tutorial showing it being converted into one of these ROD locomotives is on the way. And then there's also a 460 Baldwin on the uh, uh, build on the way. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing a full project because it'd be similar along similar lines of the 280, but we'll see. But also this week, a lovely little tank engine arrived, uh, which is a Batman Porter. And this I've got big plans for, and this will be the most challenging ROD conversion to date, as there are a number of things that will require replacing, such as the cab and the side tanks. Uh, so I've been buying up materials and hopefully uh, looking at plans and drawings of this locomotive, which are very, very, very hard to find. Uh, but I've got a number of pictures uh, from a number of sources that I'm gonna be basing uh, this locomotive on and basically hopefully get around to building this model very soon. But it's not just locomotives I've been working on, I've also been working on a number of World War One wagons to complement these locomotives. Uh, this includes a number of open wagons uh, that are being painted into WD livery or renumbered into WD livery I should say. I've also been building or creating a rough representation of a armoured stores car which would have been used with uh, a rail gun such as the wonderful model that Oxford Rail has produced. So I basically started producing this uh, wagon to complement that gun and basically I hope to do a little project video on that one. It'll be a quick sort of just showing it as sort of a bit of a slideshow but also a bit of a commentary as to what's going on. And then I've also been working on a number of loads for these trains as well. I've recently just nearly completed two Renault FT light tanks. And of course, these will be used on a number of wagons that I'm creating as part of my ROD fleet. And then, as I mentioned in the previous video, I've almost completed the formidable Char 2C super tank. 
and yeah this is coming along very very nicely the project video is nearing completion there's just a few little details that I've just got to add to this model uh, mainly weathering and detailing and then that video will hopefully be complete and on the way Besides all these World War One projects, I've also been doing a number of videos which take a bit more time and uh, yeah, just in general are a lot longer to film but hopefully are a lot more interesting. The first of which was of course my tutorial which you recently saw on how I keep my wheels and locomotives cleaned, uh, basically maintaining and servicing. And that video has been really, really popular and I'm pleased to say that there are a number of other videos I've got planned and was I've also already filmed that will hopefully be going up in the not too distant future. The first of which is of course how to install DCC sound into a Batman locomotive. Uh, for this I'll be installing a sound decoder and speaker into a Batman C-Class. Now this is a very, very simple uh, sound installation. It's very, very um, easy. It was a very, very easy locomotive to do it on, but it's a great starting point on how to install a decoder into uh, one of these locomotives. I've also got plans for another sound fitting um, tutorial. Again, another basic plug and play, uh, but it's a bit more complicated due to the tight spacing of this model. And this is something I hopefully get around to filming at some point. But there are a number of other tutorials that I would like to film, including track cleaning and uh, basically just you know weathering. I know a number of you guys have been asking about weathering tutorials. And again, I hope to do uh, a, a tutorial on how to weather wagons uh, in the not too distant future. I'm just uh, looking out for materials as one well, of the key uh, weathering powders I'm looking for seems to be out of stock everywhere, uh, including from the manufacturer. So fingers crossed it'll be in stock soon and I'll hopefully be able to get around to doing those videos. Uh, as previously touched upon in the previous update, uh, there is another layout uh, on the way potentially. Uh, it's been on hold at the moment due to um, being busy at work and other things. And also as well, I'm not really sure what I want to do. I'm one of those people that really, really wants to crack on with the layout, but at the same time, I'm very, very tempted to do a tutorial, a uh, full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build this layout. So we'll have to see how it pans out, but it's basically another little micro layout and I'm just getting bits and pieces together. But again, it's all time restraints and you know, fingers crossed we get around to it at some point. But the boards are built and I have done a uh, tutorial on how to build these baseboards. I've just got to do the audio for it and then hopefully that might be on the way soon as well. So I guess that's all for this update. I hope you enjoyed my ramblings on about what's been going on. Uh, as you can tell, there's a lot of World War One projects on the way and yeah, I've been really, really bitten by the bug since uh, doing this um, you know, building Amiens 1918 and of course go forth on the Great Model Railway Challenge. Speaking of go forth, as you recently saw, the video of Tommy receiving uh, the layout, the, who's the new owner, the young boy that basically we gave the layout to, um, it's been going down really, really well and I've received a lot of positive comments about what uh, we did as a team um, with that and yeah, it's been really, really good and there's another little video on the way. Uh, sort of a little follow-on video where I've done another little um, project for Tommy. Again, it might follow along the lines of um, some of the renumbering projects I've been doing for RD locomotives, uh, you know, hint. <laughs> but yeah, basically um, there is a little special little video on the way um, which will follow up a go forth and uh, yeah, that will hopefully coming very, very soon. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, update. And of course, uh, do make sure um, you stay tuned for hopefully uh, a video uh, of our time at the Warley Open Day and of course if you're able to attend please do it's all for a good cause it's free entry from what I understand it's uh, going to be an amazing little event and hopefully we're going to raise a lot of money for charity and uh, yeah it's just going to be you know a really really good event and you know you get to meet some of your favorite youtubers uh, all in one place it's going to be a really really interesting event i know there's a lot of banter going on between the teams already so it's going to be a, a good laugh um hopefully on our front on the day but yeah it'd be great to see you guys there and um, hopefully raise a lot of money for a good cause so i guess that's all for this update and this has been sdjr snf88 speaking and thanks for watching